I'm sure most of you are aware of the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities by now. I'm also sure that you're aware that Microsoft released a patch to mitigate the issue. Yeah, that's right. Fix one issue and then cause something like this. Now, Microsoft was fair enough and warned everybody about the potential consequences of installing this patch, so I'm not going to get down on them too much. But the only problem is, is that nobody can avoid having it installed on their system, and when they uninstall it, it just reinstalls itself. And then you have to have this update installed in order to receive any future updates. And then the fix, or should I say, the only way to really get rid of the update includes uninstalling the update and then pausing or just completely disabling Windows Update. In my thinking, that's not a legitimate fix. So you know what? F this patch. I hate this patch. This patch is a piece of This is one of the worst patches ever released for Windows 10. Instead of launching a Tesla Roadster into space, if I was Elon Musk, I would have put this patch in the capsule of the Falcon Heavy and launched that into deep space, never to be seen again. But hold on, hold on, I know what you're going to ask, and that is, but aren't I less secure without this patch installed? Well, the short answer is yes, unfortunately. Um, but the good news is, is that this is still just proof of concept. And what that means is that there has been no news of this actually being exploited in the real world. So if you're sick and tired of your computer's performance being negatively impacted, and you think that pausing Windows updates or completely disabling Windows update is just a crappy band-aid solution to the problem, as long as you understand the potential small risks that could be involved by unpatching your system, then keep watching and I'll show you one simple solution to uninstall this update and prevent it from coming back. The first thing you want to do is pop open your favorite web browser and navigate over to Google and then type in show or hide updates troubleshooter package. Or you can just click the link that I left in the description below. It's going to take you to a Microsoft web page and if you scroll down a little bit there's going to be a link where you can download this utility. So go ahead and click the link to download the utility and then just remember where it downloads to because we're not going to be opening it right now, but we're going to be coming back to it in just a little bit. The reason for this is because as soon as we uninstall the KB405-6892 update and then the computer restarts, when it comes back up, it's probably going to start downloading it again and getting ready to install it. So. I just want to make sure that we have this utility already downloaded so as soon as the computer comes back up we can run it and then get rid of this update so it doesn't try to reinstall. Once the utility is finished downloading you can go ahead and close out of your web browser at this point and then click start, go to settings and then scroll down a little bit and click on update and security. Now click on View Installed Update History, and then Uninstall Updates.
So in this list, you should see the update titled KB4056892. So now just right click the update and then click uninstall. So now that the computer is restarted and the updates are uninstalled, go ahead and navigate to your downloads and you want to find that file that you downloaded in the first step. Once it opens up, go ahead and click next. It could take a minute or so while it sits here and says detecting problems. We just wait it out until it's done and then it moves on to the next screen. Now that that part is finished, we have two options, hide updates and then show hidden updates. So what we want to do is click hide updates. It might take another minute or so while it searches for updates again. And then once it's done, it's going to present us with a list of updates that we can hide. Okay, so in this list, you should see KB4056892. Go ahead and check the box. And when you're done, click Next. And that's it.